All right, let me show you what I've got in my bags and cases here on my shoulder harness and belt. First, I want to mention I'm a huge Think Tank fan. I've used their gear pretty much since it came out. I've got the waist belt, I've got the shoulder harness. I like the shoulder harness because I think it distributes the weight a little more evenly. Uh, and I, I'm not relying on something really tight around my hip. As you can see, this is pretty loose, but it's not going anywhere because of this shoulder harness. Another thing I like about the Think Tank gear is, is the way it rotates around the belt. So I can move this, this uh, case or these bags around the belt and get them where I need to be uh, and, and have access to them. I also like the shoulder harness because half time I got to head into the men's room or I got to sit down or something, I can unbuckle this and it's still there. I can still get to all my gear, um, but I can tuck in shirts, especially if it's cold weather, whatever I need to do. Let me show you specifically what I've got in the bags. I carry this Lens Changer 75 bag. Um, I like the extra size. You know, look, I've only got a 20-35 lens in here. The reason I do that is if I need to switch from the 70 to 200 to a wide angle, let me show you what I can do. Okay, I've got the 20-35. I'm keeping the hood on the 7200. I drop it in the LC75, the lens changer 75, and you can see it barely sticks out above the top of the case. I can cinch it tight with the bungee cord and it's not gonna go anywhere. I've run up and down the sideline of every league, every level of football from youth to high school to NFL to college, and this thing has never fallen out of this bag. Now, if I reverse the hood, it will fit in there completely. So that's why I like this bag or this lens case for sideline at football games because I can put the lens in there when I'm coming to and from the stadium or if I just need to switch like this, um, I can still get both these lenses in here. So this case is a very versatile case. And you'll see when I switch lenses with the body, I put the strap around my neck. That's just a safety precaution. I really don't want this stuff falling if I can help it. So I went ahead and strapped it around my leg. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it around the back here. This is the trim changer. In this bag, or this case, I've got two batteries. I've got a Sharpie. Never leave home without a Sharpie. I've got the rain cover that comes with it. I've got some business cards. Never leave home without business cards. I've got the teleconverter. And the surprise is you never leave home without some trash bags. If you've bought an Aquatec rain cover or the new Think Tank Hydrophobia, you know those things aren't cheap, but these are. And there's no reason that these things shouldn't be in the bottom of every bag you own. In fact, those two bags, uh, trash bags, protect that teleconverter sitting right underneath it. So I've got the, I also have memory cards in here and the rain cover that comes with this bag. Now, if I know that it's a night game, and there might be something special going on, some kind of ceremony at halftime or after the game, or maybe I'm going to be going in shooting uh, a press conference after the game. I'll also bring, uh, put on this waist belt, the, the case that holds the flash. Uh, I don't remember the specific uh, name of it right now, but Think Tank makes a, makes a case that holds a flash. I'll bring that. I've also got the drop-in case. And I've got a smaller case that if I want to bring a fisheye, I can put that in too. And again, if you look at the way this is designed, I've got all this room to move this stuff and fit things on here. Okay? So that's the nice thing that I like about this. The other nice thing about this Think Tank gear is how I can handle it when I'm sitting down or kneeling down. I'll show you that here in a little bit.